This is Tara from Bridging Apps and I'm going to show you how to set up iCloud on your iOS mobile devices. This would be your iPad or your iPhone. The first thing you're going to want to do is tap on the Settings app, which is a gray background with a cogwheel or a gear looking circle. Depending on the iOS version that you have, you might find it in a different place, but you're going to look for the word iCloud. I am using iOS version 10. Most likely you already set up an iCloud account when you purchased your device or when you first got it. So in this case you will just log in using that original email address that you signed up with and you're going to put your password in as well. If you can't find your password or if you don't remember it you could click on the blue link that is under the blank for your email. Then you are going to click on the words sign in. You'll then be taken to a screen where you can check off the different things that you want to be stored on your iPad. Like for example, notes, which is a great handy feature. You can take a note on one device and it shows up on the other. The contacts that you have saved on your phone, you could also have them on your iPad. You could set up your calendar and your mail that's been associated with your iCloud account as well. Those are just some of the things that you can turn on when you enable iCloud on a different device. One of probably the coolest things is something called Find iPhone. When you set up your device the first time by logging into iCloud, it automatically gives you an alert asking if you want to set that up which I would say yes. It will basically allow you to find any of your devices as long as they are using cell phone data or the Wi-Fi is set up and turned on. This will work with all of your devices that have been set up with iCloud uh, including a phone or an iPad. If you want to be able to get your photos that you take on your phone on your iPad you can choose that um, by clicking on photos and then iCloud photo library you want to make sure that that is turned on it'll take a couple minutes to load and once it is set up you'll see the black box go away that says turning on and you're all set up mm -hmm.